basically from Grimsby. I'm a Grimsby girl, born and bred, but moved away and lived away for 15 years doing regeneration and community development all over the country and had to move back to Grimsby for family reasons and kind of thought, well, I may as well regenerate my hometown then, hadn't I? Don't know. Um, so I got a job at Shoreline Housing Partnership as a regeneration officer and I covered the East Marsh area for, for three years, three and a half years. Really got to know the communities, uh, really got to know all the little usual suspects and the quirky little community people. And uh, we did a lot of projects and we did some fantastic kind of gating schemes and environment projects. And from that, um, Shoreline decided to develop a community interest company called, it's called Contract Links now. And that's all about getting unemployed people back into work. So I'm the operations manager. Basically, we're an employment agency, so we take people that are long-term unemployed and train them up, give them work experience, pay them for six months on funding and then hopefully get them a job through our employment business and it seems to be working really well. Well, I think the Biz Society has always been going with the voluntary and community sector. You have everyday examples of organisations that run with no funding and, you know, pull off amazing projects and amazing trips for young people. And, you know, they do all sorts of things. And that is a classic example of the Big Society. It has been going on for much longer than people think, especially on the East Marsh, because we have East Marsh involved, which has been going for five years. We've got the East Marsh officers, which has been going for five years, and they're not paid officers, they're voluntary people in the community that live in that area and they just want to see their street improve. So things like neighbourhood watch groups have been going for years, that's big society. Things like, you know, community wardens and, you know, community kind of parent governors at school, that's all big society, that's all people wanting to take part in how services are run in their community and how, you know, they benefit their community. So yeah, I think it's just a, another word for something that's already been happening for many, many years. Through contract links we've taken quite a few people that have lots of issues and lots of barriers to employment. In particular I'd like to talk about my volunteer coordinator Stacey. She has come, she come from a, a heavily drug uh, background, um, you know, sort of lots of problems with the police, been in and out of prison. She's kind of turned that around. She's, she's come off the, the drugs and she's now uh, doing really well, uh, employed by me. I think she's absolutely fantastic. I, I'm taking her on as a proper employee next week and she will then be going out and doing volunteer opportunities. And she really relates to the people that are most hard to reach that have come from drug and alcohol backgrounds and she really kind of cuts their barriers down and says well I've been unemployed for 12 years longer than you um, I've done drugs my criminal record is bigger than yours and she really gets people enthused and inspired as to how they could look at their journey back into work and she really supports them to say well if I can do it you can do it and it's amazing when people come into our office they come in with such negative barriers that I'm never going to work. And when they've sat with Stacey for 20 minutes and they leave, they're saying, I am going to work. And she just kind of changes their whole perception of going to work, which is just fantastic. I'd like to see a little bit more joined up thinking. Um, I'd like to see Freeman Street regenerated. I think we've had seven plans now and nothing's ever happened. Um, I'd like to see the council really embrace really innovative ideas and projects and, and things that the people want, not what the planners want and not what cabinet or the councillors want, it's what the people want, which is important. But personally, I'd really like us to see Grimsby as a, a centre of innovation for regeneration because, you know, you've got all different kinds of people involved in it. And I think, you know, we can move forward and have some really good ideas and projects that are delivered and spend some of that money that kind of just keeps skirting over our, our area and it never gets here. We either get awarded the money and we don't spend it or we just don't bother to apply for it. I think we need to fight more for the money that is owed to this community. <laughs>